Let's see. It's going to be the fifth root of 64 x to the 6 to the 6th power. And that's divided by the fifth root of 2x. So it's no longer square root. Now we got a fifth root. And so remember, if they all individual, since the top is fifth root, the bottom is fifth root, you can put the stuff on the inside together. And it can be one big fifth root of 64x to the 6. And it's going to be divided by the 2x. And it's still a fifth root on the outside. So you can simplify the inside. So what you got is 64 divided by 2, which is what? So that's going to give you a 32. And you got x to the 6 divided by x. x to the 5. We broke 32 down earlier. And this is a fifth root. Well, 32. 5, 2. So 32 is really 5, 2's. 4, 5. And then you got 5 x's. Yeah. Because you do 64 divided by 2. 64 divided by 2 is 32. Yeah. The fifth root tells you you got to pull them out in fives. They got to be in fives. So these five twos come out as just one two. These five x's come out as one x. Everything left under the root. So the answer is just two x. Whole root is gone. So it's no root. Or what? Can't put it together. So this is the this is five cube root of sixteen plus the cube root of fifty four. So you got five cube root of sixteen cube root of sixteen plus cube root of fifty four. So you got to break up sixteen. So what two numbers give you sixteen? 4 and 3 give you 12. 4 and 4 give you 16. And 4 is what? 2 times 2? So this is really 4 twos under here. And what two numbers give you 54? 9 and 6. So 9 is 3 and 3. And 6 is what? 3 and 2. Yeah. So, cube root tells you you can only pull out triples. They got to be in sets of three. So, you see three twos under this one. That comes out as one two. That's going to be ten. It's, not, it's no longer a square root. It's a cube root. Ten to the cube root of two plus what? Because these are three threes. So, they come out as one three. So, that becomes three cube root of two. of two. So this problem here, they give it to you, uh, this is a, the sixth root of x to the fourth. They want you to write this as a, a fraction, which I need to give you that formula too. This formula says if you have n root of a to the m, then you can write that as a to the m over n. So all the root is is really is a fraction power. So this, if say you got the square root of four, the power x, x to the four over six is what it's gonna be. Cause the the, the power on the inside go on the top, and the root goes on the bottom. And if you want to check that uh, with the calculator, say you got the square root of four. This is a square root, so it's a two out there. And the power of the 4 is 1. So if you go to your calculator and you put in your calculator 4 to the power of 1 half, 
then it should give you the same thing as square root of 4. It should, a 2 should come out. Because all a root is really is a fraction power, a power less than 1, or any, any kind of fraction. And so this would be x to the 4 over 6. And you can reduce it. So if you reduce it, what would it be? x to the 2 over 3. Yeah. No, you just leave it as a fraction. So the homework, I'm going to write the homework down right here. So I know this is what y'all was waiting on. Well, classwork, I'm sorry. Even, yeah. Why is it not right and right? And then, that's not it. 68. Yeah, it's always group work. X to the fourth right here? Yeah. And then 102. 108. Yeah. 